And there's people running the under. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see what happens. We're about to board the plane. So if we had just gotten a chip in our passport, we could have just gone through there. But now we have to go through this line. We're done with immigration. So now we're heading to where someone from the hotel will pick us up at the airport and meet us by holding a sign that we are looking for. Kind of looking around to check where he is and where to find the pickup point. First time. First time. But we will come back. Yes. <laughs> we will come back. I think so too. Because we plan to come maybe with our family. Okay. All right. Mother. Yep. Father. You live in China? Yeah, we teach okay. English in China. So That's not good. too far away. Right. How about you, Claire? Yes, in we... China, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank yes. you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> thank you, and you thank you, thank you so much. Right from the which flight you do you before is is it, uh is from Singapore or what? Oh, from uh, Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia. Malaysia. The second time. First time. Oh, first time. But must return. <laughs> yes. And then, sorry, uh, I have to call with the Mr. and Mrs. Okay. 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 Beach, that's all the free access. Free access to the yeah. beach. Okay. And then, uh, if you need to look at the temple, yes. This is not here, from here to the right. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're walking. Okay, walking. Yeah. Walking distance. Walking only the two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. okay. Yeah. And then, that's Some. your villa that's located with the uh, beside the uh, square shopping mall. Okay, yeah. big mall. Over there here. The guide showed us that if we go down that road for three minutes, um, we will find like a whole bunch of restaurants, a big mall called Seminac Square, and many other shops that we can go shopping for souvenirs for. He then went on to explain that the buggy service is a 24-hour service that we get which is included in our package and we can just dial zero on the phone from the room to call the buggy to come and collect us or we can just ask at the lobby for them to drop us off at the villa. At this point, we were so excited to get inside and put our bags down and explore the villa. He just wanted to show us some more of the resort. So we went along for the ride and we were pleasantly surprised to see a beautiful pool with some chairs, some beach chairs, lounge chairs. And we finally got to our villa. This is Indonesian coffee that we get when they come and clean our room, they restock it every morning. And we also have a coffee machine, which is quite nice to have such a luxury. We don't even have one at home. <laughs> um, basically, it's a tea bag, but it's coffee in the tea bag. So, um, yeah, he showed us how to make it and how to use the, the coffee machine. And 
according to Aza, it was very creamy and so strong. <laughs> So, as you walk in, there's a pool, and this is completely private. And here we have two day beds. You walk in, it's beautiful. Bed. So this way, that's like the front door. Nice big bathtub and those windows open up to the garden. Then we have a shower and another nice bench. Double sink. A bidet. <laughs> Interesting. And then we have another long bench. We have some iron boards and linen and stuff. And all the laundry is included. Like if you want laundry done, they just you can have four items washed per day. There's a coffee machine, free coffee. The items in the fridge are free. They just restock it every day. The size of this bathroom. Oh my golly gosh. The size of this bathroom and the toilet obviously on that side. Shower over there. What? The size of this villa is like absolutely... Can, can we live here? <laughs> can we live here? Can we afford to stay here? Can we live here forever, please? Oh, and I forgot to show you the little garden set up over there. Like some outdoor space where you can just have breakfast and chill. This is what holiday is all about. Guys, look at that waterfall over there ah oh, the pool looks so inviting Whew. okay Five minutes ago it was pouring and now basically the sun is coming out.
currently in the rice terraces. Look how beautiful it is. Oh. Took a while to get here, but oh my gosh, and the way to get here, it's not easy. But looking forward to exploring. I'm in a rice terrace in Bali. So that's where we had breakfast. And then there's the beach. You feel refreshed? Okay. Okay. Thank you, good sir. Mm. And this is a few napkins to with your hand. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is our um, cassava. Thank you so much, Miss Angela. As a symbol, yes. And as a symbol of welcome, we would like to put a flower on your ear. Thank you. This is the Kuta Sea View Boutique Hotel that we stayed at as our second accommodation. I tried some of these special Indonesian juices and some of them were quite interesting to taste. Um, there was one that has like strawberry yogurt and others have like certain health benefits. Right after breakfast or eating at the restaurant, you can cross the road and head over to the beach. Let's talk a little bit about the resort that we stayed in, in Kuta. If you're looking for a place that's quite busy and bustling with restaurants, bikes everywhere um, and just like you're gonna take day trips out more than staying in your hotel room then this is the place for you but honestly speaking we didn't enjoy this stay very much because the rooms are quite dark you need to put on the put on the lights if you go inside and yeah the first day we actually had no electricity for about 15 minutes it didn't make us feel very good about that but on the other end we were forced to explore and 
go out, eat somewhere and just enjoy Bali for what it is. These pictures I found online of the resort and as you can see in the pictures the lights are on so yeah it's pretty dark in the rooms because the, there's no natural light and one of the pictures has a bathtub but without the shower curtain and when we arrived there there was a shower curtain on the shower but if you're okay with that that's all right with you <laughs> um, I wasn't too happy I felt a bit cheated from the pictures that they showed us online if you're looking for a beach to go to in Bali that's just for relaxing on a day bed or just lounging and having something to eat and looking out onto the ocean then this beach is perfect for you unfortunately there was a lot of seaweed in the water so it wasn't quite a swimming beach but it was beautiful to look at there's also a flea market where you can do some shopping and browse around and it was quite an enjoyable experience listening to the, all the music that they had along the way. If you're planning to go to Sanu Beach, it would be a good idea to rent a bicycle. You can just return it back to where you found it at the end of your ride. The walk from the entrance of the beach all the way to where there are some restaurants with some live music and just a chilled vibe that's about 20 minutes walk so taking a bicycle will be a good idea. One interesting thing about this beach is that it's close to the port where you can get a boat to go to the islands. If you want to rent a beach chair it's about 50,000 you can rent a beach chair and enjoy it for the whole day. But please make sure that if you want Wi-Fi, you should um, ask the restaurant that you are ordering food from or drinks if they have Wi-Fi and if it can connect to where you are sitting. 